Here we go, everybody. My party people, especially my new people, what's the first thing I'm supposed to do again? Go ahead. What's the first thing I do? That's right. Read the question. Again, read that question. We know what today's topic is. You know what we're dealing with. So let's understand what the goal of the question is. It's going to say right here, in how many weeks will Anthony be able to afford the vacation? Notice that that is not the beginning of the question sentence. The sentence begins with, if he already has 1,470... That doesn't matter. Whenever they say the word if, they're just giving you additional information. So they're saying, hey, if he already has this much saved for the vacation that costs this much, that's not the goal. That's not telling me the goal. Yes, I'm going to address that as extra information that's connected to the goal because the word if is clearly telling me it's connected. But don't, don't get... You know, don't get hung up on that. Start with the words like how many, who, what, when, where, why, which of the following. You know, those are the words you want to look for. So here, in how many weeks will Anthony be able to afford the vacation? Everyone, what does it sound like we're looking for? If you had to choose or guess, what is it that we are looking for? How many weeks? Erixa, Eros. Yeah, that's right. Time, weeks. How many weeks? That represents time. So, what does that mean for us? Well, if we're thinking about this in the sense of y equals mx plus b, everyone, which of those letters represents time most of the time? Most often, which one represents time? One of the most engaging and fun to use resources that I offer is going to be my arithmetic reasoning progress dashboard. Imagine being able to track your progress concept by concept, like proportions, distance rate time problems, systems of equations. Imagine being able to guarantee that by the end of it all, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. That's how our progress dashboard works to give you the ultimate resource to make sure that your confidence is exactly where it's supposed to be. So check that out in our full program and let's ace the ASVAD. Yeah, it's X. X typically represents time. Y represents the result after that time. Again, X is the amount of time that passes or whatever passes. Typically, it's going to be time. Y is the result or the amount you have after that amount of time. So here, what we are looking for, let me highlight it right there. We want time. Next up. We're going to go ahead and analyze the information. Everybody, if we're looking for time, it's very likely that the problem is going to give us the rest of the information. Very likely. Let's read through and understand where each piece goes. So, right over here, Anthony is saving $161 per week for a vacation. Per week. If he already has $1,477 saved for the vacation... That's $3,087. Okay, let's go ahead and go through that again. The first one here says saving $161 per week. Everyone, what is that? That's our M. That's our rate. Again, saving $161 per week. That is absolutely our rate. Absolutely. So great, we can go ahead and identify that right here. That's gonna be 161. Next up, we are gonna take a look right over here that it says he already has $1,477 saved. If you already have something, is that gonna be what's in the beginning or what's in the end? If you already have this, if you already have this, yeah. That's the beginning. Again, Anthony already has $1,477 saved up, already has it at the start of the problem. That's a beginning amount. That's what we initially have. So right here, already has this much saved, and we can write that right over here, 1,477. So far, before I continue, everyone, 
Is this making sense so far? Is this understandable? Is this understandable? All right. So as we take a look at, and thank you guys for the participation, I love that. So moving on to the last piece of the puzzle here, let's understand if we have the why. Let's ask ourselves, you know, let's just not say, hey, you know, we have one thing left, so this last number must be it. Has anybody ever done that and then found out that you got completely bamboozled? Like, oh yeah, um, I need one more number here. I see one more number here, has to go there, and you've gotten bamboozled. Who here has been bamboozled like that? Because I'm going to be the first to say yes. Been me before plenty of times. You know, when you get a little ahead of yourself and you get overconfident and you don't think you need to double check. <laughs> so with that, sounds good. Um, Jasmine, I am writing periodically. So if there is a little bit of an issue, I would recommend backing out and coming back in. But with that, let's understand here. Remember, why is the result that you're trying to get to? So the vacation is what we're trying to pay for, $3,087. So everybody, is that the result? Is that the goal? Yeah, it is. So don't want you to overthink, don't want you to underthink. I just want you to be real with it. If that's the goal, that's the result, then yeah, that's the vacation's goal, sweet. So we can go ahead and say that that's the case. Let's bring that here. Boom. And we have a goal again of $3,087. There we are. There we are. All right. Now that we're here, everyone, yes or no? To get the answer correct, we have to solve this equation. Yes or no? All right, sweet. So before we actually solve this equation, I want you to reveal where you currently are. Are you confident or do you struggle with solving equations? Are you confident or do you struggle when it comes to solving equations? Be honest. Again, be honest. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you out. I'm here to help you grow. I'm here to give you advice. So go ahead and be honest. In the middle, confident. In the middle, struggle. Confident, struggle, 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 struggle. 50-50. Middle, struggling, confident, struggling, struggle. So look at that. You know, I'm not using this as a condemnation of anybody, but I do want to just review these answers as a warning. You know, there are not going to be many problems where you're not solving an equation on the ASVAB. So I want you to understand how to flow through this and do this without hesitation. So everyone, Will you take time, whether you're in the program or not, I don't mind what you're using, but do you promise yourself to work on something as common as solving equations? Good. Sweet. So for those of you in the chat box asking about when you would be using this formula, y equals mx plus b, for those of you asking, just hang tight until the end of this question. And I will show you the notes again so you can screenshot them one more time. So here we go. Here we're going to go into now solving equations. Just like I told you in the beginning of class, but I think before the recording started, I said, hey, every word problem, two phases. First, translate the English that we just had over here into math. That was step one. Step two, it's going to be the calculatory piece where we are just going to be crunching numbers, solving this equation. Pure process. Here we go. First step, we have to understand that the goal, remind ourselves, is to get the x by itself. This right here is the goal. So the first thing that we need to understand is that we have the 161 and the 1477 in the way. The first thing that you go for is the thing that is not attached to the x. 161 is attached. Go for this first. Do the opposite. Do the opposite to cancel it. So if here we're adding 1477 to get rid of it, we need to subtract 1477 from both sides. And that's what we'll do right here. And before you continue, just remember, you can get a free week to our full program, no credit card required. All you gotta do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182. Do that real quick, get a free week, join all the classes, and raise your score. We'll go ahead and grab a blue, 
and we'll go ahead and subtract that from both sides. Just like that. And then here we go. Notice that on the right side, this is set to cancel out. And then we just have left 161x equals. And on the left side, we'll do the subtraction. So upon subtracting, that would be 1610. We can perform the mathematics straight up. 7 minus 7 is 0. 8 minus 7 is 1. 30 minus 14 is 16. So 1610 or 1610. Then next up, we see that we have only one thing left to take care of. We have the 161 in the way with the x, and now we have to ask ourselves, well, if we have 161 attached to the x, that's multiplication, that's 161 times x. So what do we do to get rid of that? Everyone, how do we get rid of multiplying by 161? Be specific, use a full sentence. I know we all know how to speak correctly. Go ahead. Divide what? Divide what? My hopes and dreams into pineapples? Like one, what? Be specific. Divide 161 on both sides. That's the right way to say it. And I know I can get annoying, especially when it comes to saying things properly in the mathematical sense, but it's so worth it in the end. When you speak about things properly, you act on them properly. So here, again, what we need to do, say it, then do it. Divide both sides by 161. Right there and right there. And now, for those of you freaking out thinking, Coach, I don't want to do long division by 161. Well, before you get scared and before you blame me and punch the drywall, take a look right over here. Everybody, uh, 1,610 divided by 161, not that bad. What is that going to be? Yeah, it's going to be 10. It's going to be 10. You, you see the 1610, that's literally 161 times 10. And again, if you stay calm, cool, and collected, you'll get the opportunity to see these pieces of, of easy success, I call them, or low-hanging fruit. So here, x equals 10. Boom. There we have it. So the answer here is 10 weeks. It'll take Anthony 10 weeks to save up for this vacation. And there's C. And as always, my math party people, you deserve to be put in the best position to succeed, and I want to thank you for always putting your best foot forward. With that said, get our free one-week trial to our program, no credit card required, and you get everything. Classes, practice problems, practice tests, all the way until you pass. See you there. Let's ace the ASVAB.